So, who was Carl? You'll hear the name Carl sometimes in your missions. And you can't help but wonder, who is Carl? Well, today we're going to discuss who he might have been, and of course, potential theories. For disclosure, nothing on this list has been confirmed yet, so please be advised. Also, subscribe to the channel, ring the bell, and you'll never miss an upload. Now that we got all that stuff out of the way, let's get started. According to the DRG wiki, Carl was a former associate of Deep Rock Galactic. So for now, we're just going to assume he was a dwarf, since his race is not confirmed. And Carl was presumably a co-worker of the four dwarves. This being driller, engineer, gunner, and scout. So Carl has zero lore or appearance in the game outside of references. You will often hear the name Carl when the dwarves salute or kill their enemy. Information on Carl on his existence is quite short, but evidence suggests that he went missing or was killed on Hoxie's 4. That's the planet the dwarves are on. Now that we have an idea on who Carl was, let's get to the theories. So these are some of the most popular theories I found among the players and fan base. So for this first theory, and the most obvious one, is that Carl was one of the playable dwarves. Before something went horribly wrong, of course, that caused him to go missing or was killed in action. So the dwarves refer to Carl as if they were their close friend and talk about his disappearance as if they were there themselves. This would suggest that Carl used to be one of the team before one day he was left behind, giving birth to the phrase, leave no dwarf behind. So there is no clear evidence that Carl was a teammate of the four dwarves. But this also means the dwarves could also be exaggerating their relationship with Carl. So let's get on to the second theory. The second theory is Carl was one of the original dwarves to descend onto Hoxie's four. Someone had to test the waters on Hoxie's and that person was Carl. As we all know, Hoxie's is dangerous as all hell, but someone had to go in and prove that it could be safe. And that person was Carl. Carl's bravery and sacrifice proved to Deep Rock Galactic that the planet could be harvested. Carl was the first dwarf to fight off all the horrors that Hoxies had to offer, like dreadnoughts and glyphids and Macteras. Now for our third theory, we have that Carl is the dwarf that all the playable dwarves descend from, like an ancestor. So this conspiracy is actually a combination of two theories, one being the ancestor, the other being that they're all cloned. You know how all the dwarves look identical in their physical appearance? Well, it's possible that they're all descendants or clones of one dwarf. So this dwarf could be Carl. And the reason he got cloned is that he was powerful as the other dwarves claim him to be. So you know how your team suspiciously ends up in the med bay at their failed mission? This could be theorized that they could be cloned and left behind giving us the idea that a cloning process has taken place. For this last and final theory, this one's actually my favorite, is that Carl is a clever reference to the late Carl Sagan. For those of you who don't know who Carl Sagan was, he was an American astronomer, planetary scientist, cosmologist, astrophysicist, astrobiologist, science communicator, author, and professor. He was well known for his curiosity of the cosmos and planetary science and exobiology. To me, this makes a lot of sense because maybe the Deep Rock Galactic developers were fans of Carl Sagan, so they implemented him into the game as a clever reference or homage. And that's it. That is all the valid theories on who Carl might have been. If you enjoyed this video, stick around. I'm uploading another video on all the debunked theories on who Carl might have been. With that being said, thank you guys for hanging out. I'll see you guys in the next one. Rock and Stone.